Holy freaking super crap. Guys, welcome back to Just Nuts. Scissors of the Rose is out. The whole set is officially leaked for the TCG. And it's all right. I mean, listen, you weren't expecting that. Like, most people are coming to this set for one of two things. You're either coming for the new stuff or you're coming for reprints. Uh, and let's just go over that real quick. So, as far as the ultra rares go, let's just jump right into the ultra rares, start from there and go back to the commons. I'm not really going to talk about what the cards do a whole lot, um, because I already have videos going over all these cards when they got announced and stuff, so that just seems a little redundant. So, assuming you know what some of these new cards, most of the new cards do, uh, this should be good. It's ultra rares, you see Harpy Perfumer, Alluring Mirror, Split, Harpy's Feather Rest, Garden Rose Maiden, Frozen Rose, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon, Juggernaut Lieb, Super Express Bullet Train, Urgent Schedule, and Barrage Blast. Um, I think one thing I am really happy about is that Harpy Perfumer is here. Uh, I'm glad Konami just kind of recognized that, like, hey, Perfumer is, like, easily, like, the best support card in this set for Harpies, so let's go ahead and make it the highest rarity so that people will be get a sexy version of uh, one of the cards that's going to help their archetype the most. Um, the rest of the stuff, Garden Rose Maiden is, is a really beautiful card. I hope it looks good. Uh, I assume it'll look good. Um, there. Uh, Ju Juggernaut Lieb should be really cool. Same thing with Bullet Train. I think they'll be good. I think these are fine. I mean, the rest, I feel like, could have been swapped out for, like, the most enticing stuff from, like, maybe Cyber Angels or Luna Lights. I would have liked to see some Luna Light stuff, because when this is all said and done, Luna Lights are going to be the best deck out of all five of these uh, competitively, so I don't know why they didn't try and bump up the rarity a little bit on the, the Luna Light stuff, but whatevs. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, good. Anyway, for Super Rares. We've got Harpy's Featherstorm, Harpy Oracle, Cyber Angel Izana, Merciful Machine Angel, Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede, Luna Light Saber Dancer, Luna Light Fusion, and Luna Light Serenade Dance. Um, interesting thing here is that Harpy's Featherstorm is the only reprint in all of the Ultra Rares and Super Rares. Um, and I guess it makes sense. Like, it's a card that only has one printing, but it's not that expensive but i totally could see it going up it's really really powerful card for the archetype it's like a an archetype hand trap that's really really strong um so i like this it's super it's not even like it's a weirdly like un unrare common kind of card oh geez my nose oh god all right, jeez, sorry. I'm so sorry. That was gross. I'm disgusting. But it has to be done. This video has to be done. All right. So if you're still here after watching that, um, like all the Cyber Ranger stuff is like not good. So it's if if you're building a deck, it's cool. Um, I always thought the deck was cool, but it's just not good. So that stuff is whatever. Um, Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede, that is an interesting card. I totally could see that having an, uh, an okay price to it. Um, and then you see the Luna Light stuff, the three best Luna Light cards, Saber Dancer, Fusion, and Serenade Dance, um, respectively. Um, pretty cool. I think these are fine. The, like those Luna Lights, I feel like Saber Dancer and like Fusion should have been Ultra Rares and then bump up like Yellow Martin or Emerald Bird to like Super or something like that. But it's not that big of a deal. They're still supers. Um, and then we go to the rares. We have Harpy Lady Elegance, Cyber Egg Angel, Incarnated Machine Angel, Magnificent Machine Angel, Dark Rose Fairy, Red Rose Dragon, Blooming of the Darkest Rose, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon, Gustav Max, Luna Light Emerald Bird, and Luna Light Yellow Martin. Um, here, I kind of wish Red Rose Dragon had been a super rare. Um... I feel like I just feel like we have Blue Rose Dragon, and it's a, it has like a it has like a super rare I think and like a ultra rare printing something like that. It has a decently rare printings, but then like you're also, we're also gonna see like we're, we're gonna see 
white rose dragon is like a promotional card and then this card is going to be like rare so the other two are going to look good and then this one's going to look like mm, uh, it's not uh, kind of ugly uh, so that's like just awkward to me I feel like um, but you know I can't do anything about it now <laughs> um, other than that like Gustav Max is an interesting reprint here um, and then Yellow Martin Emerald Bird I said like maybe one of them should have been bumped up to super rare um, but it's still cool, they're still good, they're still very helpful for the archetype um, not really much to say about the rares I mean there's like, they didn't put like hardly any reprints into like the rare slot rarity slots, so there's only Featherstorm and Gustav Max all the rest are not reprints, they're all new cards, so there's not really much to say they were just going to put the new cards in these slots, so there, but then we move to the commons. So, this is like the main problem I have with the entire set is for harpies. It's absolutely harpies. They missed a huge alleyway where they could have just like done something really nice for players that play one of the oldest, most beloved archetypes of all time, and they just didn't. They did not, absolutely. Um, you see Harpy Lady Sisters here. Yeah, it had to be here because the new support kind of pushes Harp you to play Harpy Lady Sisters, so it needed to be here readily available. Harpy Queen is a nice one because even the rare version is like two is almost three dollars. Um, and then like the the ultra rare or whatever version of it is like, you know, almost five dollars. Um, something like that. Uh, so that is a nice little reprint in there. Uh, also searching your uh, humping, hunting ground. Elegant Egotist and Hunting Ground, I guess those had to be in there just because for people who didn't have the deck, but they're trying to build it almost just off of this. They can't, because they refuse to give us, like, the good cards, but still. The ones I have a problem with is right here. Phoenix Formation and Triangle XC Spark. Those I have a huge problem with, because... <sighs> you have cards like Harpy Channeler, like Harpy Dancer, like Harpy's Pet Dragon... Uh, like Hysteric Sign. You have must ofs in a Harpy deck if you're actually trying to make it like somewhat competitive that are all have decent price points to them. And you didn't reprint a single one. Instead, you reprinted cards that already cost 10 cents. Harpy, chan like literally, because these cards aren't getting, aren't getting reprints here, like Harpy Chandler will remain at about $8 to $9. Harpy's Pet Dragon will remain at about uh, $10. Harpy Dancer will remain about $8. I don't even know what Hysteric Sign is at. And then literally you have to play those and with like three Channeler, let's just say 24 bucks there, eight bucks for one Dancer, so 32, 10 for a, a, a Dragon, 42, and then let's say $5 for three Hysteric Sign. You're literally looking at $57 right there. And none of those cards went into this. Into this as reprints. That would have been so nice. Just for budget players who just want to play the deck. Like, oh, that's so rough. So rough. Hugest problem with the entire uh, set is that right there. As far as Cyber Angel stuff goes, they hit the cards they needed to, which was Ritual Sanctuary and Ben 10. All the rest are, like, cents. A dime a dozen. Uh... But Ben 10 is actually like almost $2, and Ritual Sanctuary is a couple bucks because it does see play in like, um, like Heralds here and there, other decks, so it does have some other value. Um, as far as the Rose Dragons go, you see a Black Rose reprint. Twilight Rose Knight, even though it doesn't even work with the Rose Dragons at all, it's here, so that's weird. Um, Blue Rose Dragon is nice, though, because I think both printings are actually like a couple bucks, like even though it sees like, it had never seen play before. It, like, actually weirdly had, like, a couple buck price on it. But it's now common, so if you needed to get it... If you wanted to get it easy and save a couple bucks and you don't care about the rarity, you can. Black Gar need to be there. Mark of the Rose is a cool reprint. That's a cool card that just steals an opponent's monster by banishing a plant. That's cool. Um, as far as the train stuff goes, we see Night Express Knight, Snowplow, Hustle, Rustle, Ruffian, Rail Car, Construction, Train, Signal, Red, and Special Schedule. None of these cards were expensive. They won't be now. There wasn't really a specific card that I think they I think they needed to reprint. I mean, I guess the new train rank four would have been cool because I know he has like a decent price on him, but he's also just came out, so 
it still would feel a little early to reprint him. So I think that's fine. There's nothing too necessary that they need to print. And then as far as Luna Lights go, um, almost every single Luna Light card is already under a dollar, except for one, Panther Dancer. And they reprinted Panther Dancer as a common. So the one card they needed to hit, they hit it. So literally the heartbeat, like the, the one, the one blaring flaw of this set is the Harpy reprints. But other than that, it's pretty good. I mean, all the other reprints that they needed to hit, they hit. You know, they hit the ones they needed for Cyber Angels, for Rose Dragons, for Luna Lights. There wasn't really much to hit for the uh, trains, but that's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I think there's some cool stuff here. And I don't, I don't necessarily promote buying a set, but if you want to go out and get some singles, get the, get the new cards that actually help your deck, especially for, like, Luna Light players, um, train, yeah, not for all of them, I guess, except for Cyber Angels, Cyber Angels, the Cyber Angels board was so bad, oi, but yeah, I think there's some cool stuff here, I wish, really wish the heart piece of, uh, prints, the reprints were a little better, but, uh, what's done is done, and we've already been screwed, so, yay, uh, Mm. So hopefully none of this stuff is too bad, too expensive if you're trying to actually pick up the new support for whatever deck you have of these. And yeah, good luck guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more stuff from me in the future, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, you'll see me in the future. Peace guys.